because I'm here to get justice for my son's father's life and all of these families' life by all means necessary. Standing united as one in a field made up of makeshift memorials with candles lit, each representing a life lost in the hands of police. They're killing our people and they're covering up the murders even when we see it. Families supporting families against police brutality is a movement with one mission, to ignite change. If changes don't get made, that there will be more killings and that there will be retaliation because we're tired. Each of these family members represent a life they say taken too soon, now calling on this crowd of supporters to back them in their quest for justice. The police got the police federation. They got attorneys. They got all these people that's paying for them to basically win. It's not a fair fight, especially when the families are fighting alone. Though they may be fighting alone, it's the safety and power in numbers they say will help heal wounds left behind by lives lost to police brutality. We are going through the same pain. We all want justice at the end of the day. Many of the family members we spoke with say this is just the beginning in their push for justice. And they tell me rain, shine, sleet or snow. They plan to be out here for more events just like this throughout the winter months until justice is served. In Minneapolis, Devon Roming, CARE 11 News.